modeling annuities with recurrence relationships. An annuity is an investment that earns compound interest. But, like a reducing balance loan, it's not just a principal sitting there and interest being accrued, there's also payments involved. Now with a reducing balance loan, you've borrowed money, extra interest is being charged, so you owe more, and you're repaying back the money you borrowed. An annuity is the opposite. You've invested money, it's earning extra interest for you, but you're taking out regular payments so that you have an income from the annuity. So earning compound interest, but also withdrawing regular payments. Now normally the annuity will be intended to be drawn down, so you're withdrawing bigger payments than the interest you're earning, so over time it becomes worth less and less. This is what people often do when they retire, when they get their superannuation payment. They set it up so they're using, pay, drawing down on the value of the money that they've got in the bank, because once you retire, you've only got a cater for you know, a maximum of another 25 to 30 years, usually not that much. So we're often talking about super payments. Now, we are looking at annuities with a recurrence relationship. So R is our interest rate per compounding period. Oops. D is our payment received. So these are the payments you're getting throughout the term of the investment. And our value at zero is of course our principal. The value at n plus one is r, and you'll remember we do capital R and we'll redefine that, times the previous value minus our common difference, our repayment, and we get our R, sorry, there's a typo in your textbook on this. It says V0 just here, and I had to do a quick double take. Just don't be tricked, it's Vn, like it always was. V0 is our principle. And R, of course, is our growth factor or reduction factor. In this case, it's a growth factor. So one plus the interest rate on 100. Now do remember, unlike using the TVM solver, we do have to make it the interest rate per compounding period, not just the annual interest rate. And this is our big important box for annuities with recurrence relationships. So for example, Reza plans to travel for six months. He invests $12,000 in annuity at 6% per annum compounding monthly, providing him with a monthly income of 2035 I'm oh, sorry, per month, I'm doubling up, for six months. And this is actually quite um, accurate. People will travel and have saved up in order to do so and set that to pay them a fixed amount per month. I plan to do the hike from the top to bottom of New Zealand, about six months, they say about $10,000 to get you through it. So having an annuity set up, means that you've got money coming in steadily to cover your expenses while you're holidaying and not working. Model this with a recurrence relationship. So using this, V0 is our principal. That's our main investment amount. Vn plus one is, now we've got to work out R, I have 6% per annum 
I have to take that to the interest rate per compounding period. We're compounding monthly. So I'm going to take my 6% interest rate and divide by 12 to find my monthly interest rate of 0.5%. But to calculate R, it's 1 plus 0 0.5 over 100. So that's still my monthly interest rate as a percentage. I need to take that, divide it by 100, and add 1 to get 1.005 as my growth factor. So times Vn minus our repayments of 2035. And that's our recurrence relationship, this bit here. It's a good idea to do your R working somewhere off to the side so you know you did it correctly. And you'll remember when we're using a recurrence relationship, it's really easy to use your graphics calculator to step through that. So if you recall correctly, sorry, I'm just turning pages here. We start with our V0, 12,000, and hit Enter. And then it will be multiply by the growth factor, 1.005, subtract the payment. After one payment, hit enter after two payments, hit enter the value after three payments. So depending on what sort of question they asked, we might have to list the various different balances. So that's my, how much is left in the bank account, which makes sense. I had 12,000 over six months I'm paying it down. I'd expect it to be sitting around about half that value. Remember that we round to two decimal places, so that will be 0 0.33, 33 cents. So just remember how to use that recursive action with the calculator. Is the annuity fully paid out after six months? If not, what is the final payment to fully pay out the annuity? So as I said, they're normally paying it down. They're drawing down more than we earn in interest, so expect it to be fully gone pretty much by the end of the six months. I was up to three payments, so hit enter, four months, five months, six months. It's positive, saying that I've still got 88 cents in the bank. Now, technically that's not fully paid out. So my final payment is my normal payment value. 2035 plus 88 cents so you do have to you know account for every lost cent and everything you know a bank can't get away with just docking you the last little bit of money because if they did that a lot they would make an awful lot of money that wasn't theirs so that's annuities with recurrence relationships